What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Midtown Outdoors. Come back. We're going to talk about the things I've done to my GoPro Hero 5. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Midtown Outdoors coming to you from the dining room table. Um, kind of hot outside today. I'm still adjusting to my medication. Um, <laughs> I will say my blood pressure is down, so there's a good side note for you guys. Anyway, we're going to talk about the things I've done with my GoPro. Uh, a while back, I got a GoPro Hero 5 Black Edition. Um, now, I will say, you know, it, there, there's already a number 8 out. I'm sure number 9 will be out before the first of the year. Let me throw you this. The audio on the fives is not the best. When you start getting up to six, seven, and eight, that's when the audio picks up better. It still has image stabilization. It has all kinds of other little features in it. Um, if you're wanting to move up from your cell phone to something else, you know, a GoPro wouldn't be a bad idea. Now, you're not going to get those far, far away shots and those dramatic... Um, shots you see you know where somebody's taking a DSLR or a even better camera than that and shot video but you're going to get some pretty clean and pretty crisp video uh, but like I said on the Hero 5 the audio is not the best in the world from the microphone factory mic um, but you'll see a lot of your there's a lot of go there's a lot of GoPro there's a lot of youtubers out there they use the GoPro Hero and they add the mic, um, the um, adapter, and put an external mic on top of their GoPro. Now, this is pretty much how I've got mine set up. There's the GoPro mic adapter, it plugs into the GoPro. Now, one of the things I will say about this when you do this, um, you just made your GoPro not as waterproof. Or water yeah waterproof the reason for being is you have to take that little door right there off in order to plug in the mic now on your newer GoPros I say the mics are a lot better so you don't have to really run the external mic but this is a little Boya uh, shotgun mic we're gonna do an audio test here in a minute and I'll put that in there put that in here in a minute now what I do carry um, spare battery or two with me I have it in this bag right here and strapped to my pack and what I found out is I can put that little door in there in the bag because I always keep it in a Ziploc bag and um, this will go in there too and this is the standard the factory um, GoPro mount mounting system um, and all I gotta do is slip my door back on put this back on it's water resistant or waterproof again um, all the video you saw of the slides from our vacation to Orange Beach was shot using this. I'm sorry, I and mean, I won't keep meaning to throw it in your face, but it was shot with this. Now, this I actually carried around Florida or Alabama the whole time because, say, we're back and forth to the pool, I could put money in the bottom of this and get us some drinks and stuff at the pool bar and didn't have to take a wallet with me. Huh, I just realized it never carried anybody. But anyway, so when the girls were using this, they could slip that over their wrist. They had the GoPro in their hand, and when they come out, if they dropped it, it wasn't going nowhere. So anyway, that this is another handy tool that I've got. Now, I will say this. Everybody you know, talks about the GoPro Hero 5 audio not being so great and run an extended mic or external mic let me see if i can't tilt y'all a little bit um run an external mic like this it, it makes the volume or the audio much better um normally when i'm shooting right now i'm still shooting 1080p i'm shooting 1080p on this camera um but the reason why i do that there's still a lot of people out there in the world that when they watch the videos they can barely watch it past 480 um, some of them are watching 7, 720 at the most. Um, 
it's kind of weird I know it depends on your Wi-Fi and all that stuff but anyway so when I've got it like this it's not waterproof but it is good audio uh, you do have the low light sensitivity or low light setting on this and you do have the um, what's the other you got a couple filters on there on the audio um, I selected auto on that one you got either wind or stereo and I selected auto and I think by selecting auto unless the winds blowing really hard then it's on pure stereo wind blowing really hard part detects it and knocks it down whatever it does I don't know I've never read the book to find out um, I'm gonna give you a little some other ideas too you don't necessarily have to buy new folks um, this right here just this little box in here see on both sides just this little box is $49 on Amazon and if you go to GoPro now I bought this little box I bought something else there's two or three things that came with it um, oh the housing the housing came with it off of eBay for 60 bucks there was a couple of other things I can't remember there's a little tripod that came with it which I'll never use but I thought I sixty dollars and you get this this is another twenty five thirty depending on which one you get on Amazon but it holds the camera in good it doesn't give me any you know nothing rattles um, that's the other thing about the onboard mic for the GoPros is a lot of times it would pick up me holding holding it either way and I was like man that kind of stinks but anyway so I'm gonna stop this here for now and this actually this monopod I've had this forever uh, this I had this with my first camera so this has been my vlogging hiking style uh, stick for a long time now I've got my video camera on my short tripod that I could slide onto this and then I've got a tripod on the camera down to walk and scene or if I just want to do a time lapse or something like that because these have built in time lapse in them I can do that all right so we're going to stop for a second we're going to go on to the um, GoPro and I want you to hear the audio and everything I'm not going to mess with it in production I'll just let it play the way it came out um, but that's the way I did it in um, Gulf Shores is the straight up factory mic in Gulf Shores it didn't have anything else I had it on this 98% of the time so that's why you heard the bumbling around stuff but I'm going to show you what it's like on the GoPro now okay now we are on the GoPro I'm on my boom mic and of course the regular camera and I'm using my selfie stick thing there's the video camera we were recording from this is the little tripod I was talking about it's just a generic it's no big expensive thing um, but I just wanted you to hear the audio quality with this Boya boom mic mini boom and um, that way you could tell what it sounds like by adding the microphone adapter to the GoPro okay so now you heard the audio and everything with adding the boom mic the little boya boya well boom mic to this camera and you see how i've got it set up i mean it's not a bad it doesn't weigh that much it probably weighs maybe a pound or two at the most and but if you try carrying like in i've always found it interesting some people that hike and backpack with using DSLRs I mean this one I'm shooting on now is the biggest one I'll ever carry um, I've tried doing the DSLR before and there's too much to it when you're doing what we do some of the videos we excuse me some of the videos we do um, I don't know I guess if I had a selfie screen on mine I would probably do it more or might use it some more but honestly with this and of course if you've got a phone you can use this as your monitor so you can monitor or see what you're shooting and you can even go back if you don't know much about gopros you can go back and view the footage it's on the gopro say you're at camp and you want to view what all you've shot so far you can do that without having to 
you know have a computer or anything with you so you can kind of you can even edit on the fly with your GoPro so anyway that's probably why there's a lot of youtubers that do use a GoPro exclusively for doing their videos um, you know is it the best quality video no is it the best you know quality audio no but you can do what you can to get it as good as you can get it and you know still come out with some pretty darn nice videos all right guys i'm gonna stop there because i've probably made this way too long you're gonna see a lot more videos like this for a while until everything gets ironed out with my medications and stuff because right now i am still kind of in that plateau of a uh, dead dead guy walking <laughs> it's weird so anyways um I appreciate everybody watching. I thank you a lot. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, and don't be afraid, because like I said, don't be afraid to go on eBay and buy some things. The video camera itself, I bought local off of LetGo, I think. Or he may have been on Facebook Marketplace, but he had a real good price on this. I think I paid 75 bucks for the camera. And then I paid another 60 for the, the mount and the another tripod and the, the uh, microphone adapter so I don't have much in my GoPro because I think this mic is only like 30 or 40 dollars it should be on my shopping list and stuff so if you feel like you want to buy it go for it um, anyways that's it for now guys appreciate you watching we will be getting some outdoor content here soon I promise you be prepared